Hey guys, it's spring, March 1st. It's something like that. It's uh, a beautiful day out, and what better day to spend my weekend than to work on the shitbox gooseneck? It's coming along really good. We're working on some, uh, we're extending the rear now. We need four more feet in order to get 20 foot of deck. And uh, let's get to it, because there's, uh, there's a lot to do, and we've got the steel now to, I think, pretty much finish out the entire trailer. So stay tuned because this is gonna be pretty cool. So what I'm doing here is I've got these six by, I think six, yeah, six by six I-beam, three eighths thick. This is quarter inch thick I-beam on the main rail. What I gotta do is extend it out four feet and I just don't wanna butt weld it. What I'm gonna do is cut it back and overlap it. The six inches or whatever, eight inches I've got that way you can weld everything all the way around, plus put a fish plate over on top of it. And I think that would be plenty strong because that's where the axles are gonna be sitting right here. And so I think that would uh, really cut down on any kind of stresses since it's gonna be so overbuilt. I'd rather it be overbuilt than under, but to an extent, Never mind. So every time I go into a side to shop, I won't. She's ruining my shot now. pretty cool looking. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. This is where it's got this 90 degree angle cut into one half of the I-beam. That way this can insert basically into the end of this guy. And I can have this to weld, this to weld, and the whole back side of this cutout to weld too. And I can even drill a hole with my new hole saw kit to uh, plug weld it, and that would even add even more structure, structure to it. So I'm gonna do the same to the other side, just mirrored, and then we'll see what we're gonna go from there. Okay guys, it's a little while later. Um, right now I've got basically both parts cut and I put um, little pilot holes in them basically for another plug weld. I didn't really show that part. It's just pretty much bolted in. Everything's tacked in right now. Um, I kind of want to start moving on to the outer skirts here. This is what I'm talking about. This rub rail, not this, which is I guess the technically the rub rail. I'm talking about this part. I'm basically going to be a Native American. Um, this is the new neck, obviously, that we've welded onto the trailer already. And we've got the old neck. Um, a lot of good steel here. And just so happens, the rub rails measure six inches. Six inches. Get my drift. Time lapse. got this piece of steel and uh, Uncle Moose forgot to record 
or he split it in half. Basically, I just took a zip wheel, split it right down the middle on one side, and a little bit offset on the other side. And what that gives us is an L. And coincidentally, that's what the same thing that they did on the trailer before I had it. Whoever built it used whatever this uh, two by six um, square tubing. Just made the whole trailer out of that. So I'm just gonna run with it. Let's go weld it up. to the end of the trailer. It's finally done. It only took like a month because I'm lazy. But now we can move on to the big part, which is moving the entire axle assembly with. Triangulate our new hitch with our uh, axis. That way everything will uh, track right down the road. We're not wiping out tires left or right or something. So that's a, the last big step of this project. Um, after that, we cap off the end and we deck it and then we can play with it. Well, we got wired, I guess, too, but that's not a big deal. So until then, stay tuned, guys, but hang tight, because it's good me, and I know it's going to be a little bit longer until I get another video out. So until then, uh, I don't know. I didn't think of how, how I get this far. Midwest Moose out. Midwest Moose, 2024. Vote for me, the man of the people.